What's up, my dudes? Boys, we finally got us a dub this year. Unfortunately, it just so happens to be in the LCQ. <laughs> Okay, so Spency Boy just ripping a start right here. You know what it is. LCQ Champion 2024, boys. Hell yeah. So all I knew I would have to do is hit this quad right here right off the start. And it pulled me a little bit of a gap in this LCQ. And that's really all it... That was the whole race right there, basically. I pulled like a five second gap and then I just managed it and they never caught that back up. So, yeah. Yeah. Kind of crazy on MX Simulator what a start will do for you. It's uh, definitely something I've not really had in a main event yet. Where I've really been able to see where I stack up with a good start. I've had to come from the back of the pack. But yeah, this is the LCQ of Foxborough RF450 Pro Racing right here. This track was actually pretty sick. This is the most pre-made ruts that they've had on any track this year so far. So that was kind of cool. Made it something different. Yeah, uh, typically I would be hitting that quad into that corner like I did coming around the first corner on the start. But there was kind of no point in me even doing that when I have a five second lead and it's like LCQ, you know, and I haven't really been in the last few main events, <laughs> you know, Spencey boy just trying to get in that motherfucker, okay? So, yeah, we ran a uh, 51 in the main event and I was able to run a 51 flat racing against the heat race in warm up before this. So, we definitely had a lot more pace as far as fast lap time wise than what it might be showing right here in this particular race. But like I say, when you're in an LCQ, there's no point in doing anything stupid. You know, th these are just things that you learn after you've raced in this game for long enough. It's, it's one thing to go for it in a main event, but like if you're sitting, you know, 7th, 8th, ninth place in a heat race, there's really no point in doing anything crazy. If you're sitting in a any kind of transfer spot in an LCQ, there's really no point in doing anything too crazy. You just make it around the track, you know what I mean? And I knew that's all I would have to do here to make it into the main event, especially with getting a start like that. Uh, just didn't want to, you know, MX Simulator can be finicky sometimes. Sometimes you can hit like especially this track it's got two pretty decently skill gapped quads on it that you can definitely pop off on them if you come up short coming up off that tabletop yeah i, I don't even think i hit that uh, other than the right off the start maybe like the last couple laps or something i was hitting this quad a little bit more but you see me right there <laughs> damn near 12 o'clock boner airing out here bro didn't want any stupid little thing like that to cause a pop-off and then go 10 seconds back and go right there to fourth place, you know what I mean? You don't want to do anything like that, right? So that's why my lap times look a little slower here. Like I say, we ran a 51 in the actual main event, and I was hitting both of those quads almost every single lap in the main event. I'll probably make a separate video on that, but I thought it'd be fun to just come in here and show any kind of a win that I get, you know? trying to think back i know i've won an lcq before but it was a while back there bro that would have been like some 2016 days or something like that maybe i don't know bro i'm having a lot of fun with this game again i know i've struggled a little bit here and there but it's just gonna take time brother i mean i'm the rookie and the vet you know it, it really does feel like it's my first year racing in this game again um We've definitely racked up a few top 10s in the main events. We've been really close to getting back to that top 5 kind of level. Just got to have those main events go a little bit more my way. I think I finished like less than one pop-off worth behind 5th place in pretty much all of the main events that I finished like ninth or 10th. Like 5th place was literally right there, which is crazy nutty when you're <laughs> running a 20 minute you know main event and there's pop-offs everywhere and you're dodging dudes everywhere and you're you know the road gets crazy you know what i'm saying it really ain't that 
that much more I got to do to get back to that top five kind of finishing level. I mean, it, it really is right there, bro. But yeah, these uh, pre-made made these inside ruts a little bit more hittable. So that was cool. You could carry some speed around the track. I was just cruising in this LCQ, bro. I was sitting there managing the gap, bro. Spencey boy out here doing the Jet Lawrence, but in an LCQ, bro. <laughs> there was just, you know, you start to learn. It's like, I mean, yeah, I could have went in here and ran a 51 in this LCQ and won it by like 25 seconds. But what that's, what is that going to do for me? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I qualified 11th for this race, Foxborough. That ties my best qualifying ever for a 450 Supercross race in this game. So, we're definitely getting back to a level here. Just had a little hiccup there the past few rounds. But, yeah, bro, hell of a battle in that main event. I mean, hell of a battle. Caught all the way up to, like, 6th. It was like I went from, like, 6th to 8th, back to 7th, back to ninth, back to 6th. We did that for 420 years, it felt like. And, uh, yeah, this track basically turned into a motocross track with the pre-made, with the road level. That's kind of what it reminded me more of than, like, Supercross. Wasn't bad in this LCQ at all, but towards the last, like, three or four laps of that main event, them shits was crazy. Ho oh, ho, Spitzy Boy almost died right here on a lapper. Jeez, bro. I don't know why people love to get on the gas when they're completely parallel sideways to the damn... <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It's like, where are you going, big dog? The track doesn't go over there, homie. Track goes straight, brother. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, a little 10-second win on the uh, LCQ here. I think I had Seabolt behind me, so that was kind of fun. He's the guy that uh, was able to get me on the last lap like a couple rounds ago. That was kind of cool. It just shows you MX Simulator is so crazy in the sense of if you get a good start, I swear to you, it's like you don't even have to go fast to win like a heat race or an LCQ. I've almost won a couple of the other heat races this year. It, I'm telling you, when you get a good start, like a like a top two or three start and you don't pop off, bro, you can just cruise Sunday, cruise around the track. You don't even have to hit all the big lines and you're going to finish good. You only have to start going fast and doing all that crazy shit when you don't get as good of a start or you're in that main event, you know, and you're really trying to catch up. A lot of people think it's all about your lap time in this game. Bro, what lap time did you run, dog? What did you do with your lap time, bro? It's once you really get into the racing, you start to realize how laughable that aspect of the game is. I'm telling you right now, it's not about your fucking lap time, bro. When you're in a 20-minute main event and there's a road and there's dudes wrecked everywhere, the last thing you're thinking about is your damn lap time, brother. So just a little, you know, a little tip to you. I know a lot of definitely the amateurs get way too in their head about lap times. Um, like, you know, I qualified with a 51.4. I ran a 51 flat. Uh racing against the heat races and warm up and then I go in this LCQ and I basically just ran a 53 every lap and won by 10 seconds so I'm telling you right now you know the the fast lap time the one single fast lap time thing on MX simulator is the most overrated overhyped overblown aspect of this entire game if you could go like a second or two slower than your fastest lap or the fastest lap, but you could run it every single lap. That is way better than running that fastest lap, but then crashing one or two times in the race. Way better, bro. The turtle always beats that. The turtle turtley always beats the hare. You know what I'm saying? So either way, hope you guys enjoyed this LCQ right here. I wasn't really much that happened, bro. I just ripped the whole shot, quadded out of it, and then I went slow as shit and won the shit by 10 seconds. So, but either way, bro, I'm having fun, man. We're going to keep on doing this pro racing shit. I'm going to pro race. I'm, I'm trying to go on a run, bro, like I'm DMC, bro. We're going on a run out here, baby.